Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna pull from these. Once I can open them. <laughs> So we're going to talk a little bit. We are going to talk a little bit. It's just about your inflammation. Implementation? <laughs> I don't even know where that's going to go at. Um, and just taking ourselves from this position that we are now conscious in and developing from there with an energy of inner sense so that we may continue to grow our evolution. Why? Right, because that's important. To be why father side <laughs> with the pretty. So here we are, right? I have looked. Let me think yes. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I just didn't want to bore you with all the like time in between. But a few moments have passed because they just opened these. I wanted to do a few things with them before and um, set my ambiance around me as well to get into the flow of this, you know, as you can see. Um, and so. I just wanted to do some of those kind of things. You know what I mean? Before using them, actually, it's good to cleanse everything. <laughs> I hope you're cleansing your ass too, okay? Because that's important. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Welcome. Welcome, beautiful soul. Are recalibrating the energies, the energies of this flow cycle of wisdom that is being bestowed onto us, gifted, we be uplifted in the shifted perspective of higher octaves that are operating through the outfit of this majesticness that is happening here. You know, it's a real, real uplift. So, mm -hmm. all right, so there's certain things. So, I'm going to go off of someone that has asked me a question here on my YouTube. And I appreciate your line of questioning because it's important, right? It's important to five of swords here, right? It's important to address certain issues that do come up, right? During the course of our journey, right? We can't ignore certain kind of things, certain kind of behaviors, certain kind of energies that want to keep on infiltrating into our energy field. Like, Mofo, would you slow down? Mofo, would you give it up? Mofo, why don't you go and tend to your own motherfudging grass, right? But no, it won't be like that because there'll be some relentless mofos out there, back there, behind the scenes, low vibing you in every kind of degree of a degree because it is their mission statement to do such things. And here you are sensitive, right, to the energy attack, right, spiritual warfare in some kind of ethnic degree. And it doesn't, you know, this is all multidimensional too because it's in 
be ether, so it shall be, and it's hidden from sight, plain sight, right? But it still takes place in every kind of way. And then you have the dimensions to life. What leveling of plane of existence are you even operating off of or tap into aware in, in your full awareness of, right? Because it could be happening and playing out in this life cycle with past life kind of events that take place that do not operate from this leveling of now 3D reality. You know what I'm saying? And so you have this like five of stores energy, right? This conflict, right? This conflict with others outside of yourself that you feel, even if you ignore it, even if I pay you no motherfucking mind, even if I sold you to the fucking ground, right? You still out there trying, trying, because you thinking that the more you try, the more it's gonna, you're gonna succeed at some hidden blasphemy of misalignment, you see, that you keep cycling, cycling, they cycle about, right? This five of swords, like what's this all about, right? And look at this beast. And look at how I'm gonna read that. Without even looking at, mind you, without even looking here, right, at the meaning of the book, and I'm gonna still give that one, but I'm gonna give it how I see it right here too, and I don't care what the fucking book does, I'm gonna give it how I see it. There's one beast in this picture, and there's shreds of what used to be surrounding this beast. So you rip those energies to shreds. And yes, it, 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 it triggers the beast in you, but the beast that is to be met is on another flip side of a coin that you have yet to encounter in terms of dealing with these external energies that um, are coming into play. I know I just went into this babble and stuff like that, but this is in reference to a question that someone had asked on my YouTube that I have yet to address. I just recently saw it, um, it said, and, it's, and they're asking, Connie's asking, I mean like energy vampires. So someone had asked, Someone had asked, how did you learn to trust people again? And my response to that was, it's not about trusting other people, it's about trusting my relationship with source itself and understanding that I can now trust in the wisdom, the inner guidance, the insight that I receive, knowing damn motherfucking fool, well, there is no question me the connection with source and I. And so to be in this position and right now in my moment in life, that is what I trust. It's not so much people, again. But in this alchemy of ruling, I get to now draw to my attention these things that do exist, but it doesn't have to be my focal point. You, you get that. Right? So the next response, question to that, and thank you so much for the question. I appreciate it because it's important. Like everybody has questions, I have questions, right? So this is how we can further explore and evolve past our own limitations, our, our limiting beliefs, our limited understanding, understanding, you know, because we're expansive in every kind of way. So now the next question after that was, I was said by trusting myself and my relationship with the divine and to trust what I am shown. It has nothing to do with others and more about my relationship with trusting my intuition and 
in my direct dialogue with source, right? So now the next thing was, but I mean like energy vampires. The many that seem to do nothing but work black magic constantly, right? The evil eye. I had zero awareness that this bitch from Arizona was working black magic on my sex. Um, period, period, period. Okay, but period, right? But let's go into the dynamics of that. People are gonna do what they're gonna do. Let's say that again. People are gonna do what they're gonna do. And you are gifted with inner feel, inner sight, inner know, right? All the clears that you can know. I'm clear potent as we can be. I'm clear potent see. Do you know what I mean? Because I rock it like this, and I rock it like that, and I feel like this, and I know like this, and I vibe like this, and I lie like this, and I just be like this. Right? Nightmare don't care. Right? And you have two choices, and that's that. You can be affected by the infection. <laughs> hey, remember this, or you can. <laughs> I started thinking about a lot of other things and that don't forgive me in this so we're gonna go back into the fork of the bus or the fork of the road because it's the fork in the road that you have your awareness right it's like a double-edged sword sometimes it doesn't feel good to feel these things or to learn these things or to know these things but the only reason why anyone can get in is if there are cracks in your development in your system. So when you learn something that someone can possibly have been working or doing or that it might have felt like it worked in some kind of way because you might have experienced some kind of whatever hiccup along the way or something like that or whatever the case may be, the power that you give to the whatever that they may be sending or send your way right there's a leveling of consciousness that comes into play that is your power game right now you can look at it and say oh my you have been doing this and and then you can find all relatable instances in your experience of life that will activate what they have done right to you that you're gonna connect the dots and say oh that's because of this this but our evolution is our own, and to keep on projecting out and giving everybody fucking credit, right, for something that they may or may have not been a part of, because it's all evolutionary, it's all cyclical, it's all wholeness. Everything contributes to everything. So that's one way to perceive, to receive, to understand that everything contributes to everything. You can find relatability in a lot of things if you wanted to dissect every single thing and say, ah, because of this, 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 because of this, 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 if you want to label it. But we're infinite in this kind of structure. So to stay there because you are aware would be self-sabotage. To stay there just because you are conscious of it is self-sabotage. And I look at this picture of this beast, and he shredded whatever was there all around. All right, you want to come at me? Shred. And whatever effect that we want to try to infect, it would be all in the state of the mind. So you can't change the reality of something, change the perception that you have of this reality that you're now trying to understand, understand overstand for your own evolutionary grounding <laughs> right 
So look at six. So you got five and you got a six right after, right? Because that's just how it be. That's how we're seeing it right now. So five and six. So after the beast has devoured his opponents, you see, he comes out of there and it's like a turtle moving in a slow, steady space, but slow and steady wins, wins the race. So you have two choices. You can either be affected by what you are aware of now, or you can shred it. It doesn't feel good, and I'm learning this even now for myself because, you know, that evil eye, spiritual warfare, people doing black magic and all this hateful shit. Brunt, got it, get it, up the ass, it does the freaking case. I can sit here and I can dwell and I can be so upset and I can be offended, which I have been. I have taken it personally, the death threats, the, the nasty messages, the evil eye, the hate that I feel for people that pretend to be my fucking friend, but they're envious as hell. Like, are you kidding me? Like, we feel these things. I can sit here and be like, even the people that are, 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 are awakened, right? To feel their real energy towards me, but shit they won't ever fucking say out loud. That's the difference. That's the difference between them and me. They won't say it, but they'll feel it. Me, I'm not feeling that shit towards you. And that's the difference right there. That's the difference between you and them in that kind of degree. You're not shading them in that kind of way, but now you're a victim of it. Or you're allowing that to take over. And then because you have to go through all the grievances of those emotions that come up that you're right to have. But are you going to stay there? Because here comes that other fork. Right? It's fuck or be fucked. So how about they fuck off? Your consciousness is your dopeness because now I'm aware. Now I see. And now I can trust all these intuitive things that come into me that is seeded by source. Right? I'm powerful in this dynamic of intuition that I have and this connection that I have, this, this evolution that is mine that cannot be fucked with by any external outside source outside of me. It's the evolution of me. And so you know what? I'm not going to give you no more power over me to even be offended by your own stupidity. That's on you. Because I'm divinely led, guided, and protected clearly because I stand here in my position. Come at me in my face. But they won't because pussy is disgrace. Okay? So rise in that, that they have to hide and do shit like that. That's pussy. Swag. That's, that's, that's punk shit. That's how I feel about people that do stuff behind your back that won't dare do it to your face. The people that gossip behind your back, the people that send you evil eye behind your back, I think they're pussy. In energy and weak in energy because you have to do that in secret. You're gonna hate, do it, be real then. Be like, you know what, I don't like you and I'm sending you evil eye. Be real, I'll respect you, I promise that much. And I'll still respect you to a certain degree because I got no animosity towards anybody. Even when you send shit my way, I'm like, yo, that's on you. Sucks to be you. This be truth. Even in here in the tarot community, people that see your shine and all this kind of stuff, and they they shade you still. Like every this is like a freaking community of people that shade one another. I don't got time for that. That's why I'm disliked a lot because people know I don't shade, even when they shade. And that's something else to be jealous about. <laughs> so don't allow their shade to shade you. Because that's giving them the upper hand, the win, right? That's, that's, that's giving credit to their dusty magic. Dusty, crusty, musty. Dusty, crusty, musty. 
had a job. Dusty, crusty, musty. <laughs> I don't know if I ever write a poem about dusty, crusty, and musty. <laughs> All right, so let's read this from this book here. Where'd it go? Ah, oh, where? Dusty, crusty, and musty. All got different fathers. You should. So, right, we all got different baby daddies. I mean, five of swords. Buffalo. The symbol of wealth and abundance. Ooh, it supports the world on its legs that are periodically consumed, triggering the cyclical destruction of the cosmos before being reborn into a new buffalo. And the six of swords, turtle. The hardness of its shell and proverb proverbial longevity symbolized the earth it guides newborn so there's a rebirth there's a there's a birth a regeneration a recalibration a rebirth into everything that you are right now and it's 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 it's, it's a, there's a progression to it there's a process to it and yeah it's grueling look it they said the buffalo shreds it's like it, it it's on what was it it's on legs or something like that in order to re regenerate and to rebirth itself into the new and then this is you're being guided too right because it's sort of coming out of that troubling water it's coming out of something but look at this a rebirth this is a newborn right and it's a slow progression and all right granted it's grueling and it's like tedious in every kind of way but it's your evolution right it's your evolution i am i am awakening ever so more to the infinite possibilities of all my highest octave of potentials. And I am excited to greet and meet every octave of soul, molecular divinity that is I, that is on my own revolutionary, evolutionary high of a rise. And I am embracing myself during this time Fuck pussies. If they're a punk, they're whack. They're wackadoodles. Right? That's a wackadoodle. Somebody that got to go in secret and, 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 and talk about you. Um, try to send you evil eye. Try to do some witchcraft your way. Try to fuck you up energetically, spiritually, or someone that spreads rumors, gossips, and all this kinds of those are wackadoodles. Now the one that comes to your face and does it all right, that's a problematic <laughs> wackadoodle still. <laughs> a problematic wackadoodle that clearly is gangster. <laughs> rah rah in your face. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I like, okay, clearly you want to fight. <laughs> Go fight yourself. Right? Go over there. Okay, that person too. But so that's one way to really let that register. That somebody gonna be in another state doing something to you hidden because they feel well, you're strong in your power and they're over there trying to fuck up your shit. But because you have your own evolutionary, revolutionary journey of healing that you have must abide in and go through, you gotta go through, that's your journey. Right? There may have been cracks in your system that have allowed some of their workings to penetrate and cause influencing energies to influence your energy. All right, but now you're aware. So now the wackadoodle is dismissed because you are conscious to this shit. So how can you affect me now? It'd be like that. Mother Earth, Madre Terra. Mother Earth, 
Look at that. Look at that face. Mother Earth. Let me read that one. Look at the high priestess too. Mother Earth, so she like the Empress? Fertile. Look at the high priestess. Right? All right, hold on, because this is the Empress, okay? And it's a ton of chalices. Hold on, just go with the... Oh. What's Mother Earth? Mother Earth. Mother Earth. The Earth is symbolized by plants carried in the womb like a baby, which take life where the mother places her feet. In the Earth, things bear fruit and are nourished and protected. It's a female principle. Beautiful. I like that. And then the High Priestess. Okay. The mother of my maize and tobacco, the High Priestess. From Mother Earth comes life epitomized by maize, continuity, and tobacco. She indicates rebirth, again, with the rebirth, okay? Through an encounter with the divine, which is realized by traveling the labyrinth of oneself. Amazing. So here you are, right? There are energy vampires, there are parasites, and there are people with not the greatest intention and not the greatest feeling towards you, but they are powerless to towards you unless you give them your power. And even though in your lack there of knowledge of anything that they might send your way, understand that if you are ever gifted with the consciousness, the realization, the intuition to receive what they might be doing in the ethers behind the scenes, then you have every power to just divert by going to the trigger that they're going where it hurts. You have to understand that if someone is doing that, it's like a, like a serial killer or somebody that has a target, right? Target, they study their target, they know their target, they know their weakness, they know, they know their cracks, they learn their cracks if they don't know their cracks, so that way they can infiltrate. If you have no crack, it's harder for them to penetrate and they're doing this other kind of like blind magic of a certain kind of like just gener generic, general, like, oh, we're sending this, you know, that. And then wherever it can get into a crack, you know, seeps in and stuff like that, the influencing energies, but that's always constant. That's with everything. That's constant and that's always, that's just someone being, um, um, that's someone just being, very purposeful with that energy and, and targeting you, right? But it's a fact, it's always going to be up to you. And the fact that you are aware, how powerful can this person fucking possibly be? Because you're going to be doing some blind kind of hidden magic. Nobody should be finding about shit. It's how weak is your inner guide system helping you to navigate the stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you have no control over. You can't control the behavior of somebody else, but you can control your reaction to their behavior. And it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it fair. It doesn't make it any of those things, but what it does make you is strong. What it does make you is, 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 is powerful with the clara potency that you have to be able to even tap in like that and see things as they are. You can be angry about it, you can, or you can find the parts of you that find that rage, right? And choose to disengage and get into your healing a little bit and differently in some kind of way. Okay, so yeah, here we are. Right, so there's there's a lot of things that you can stay hung up on, and that's just the reality of it. Like, you know, and those are spells too. 
sometimes they want you to stay stuck on their stupid and just bring you in from there. You want to give them that leveling of satisfaction to know that they got you by the gripe, by the neck, and that you choose to allow that. And it's all in the mind. It really, really is. It's an attack on your peace. To allow yourself to take back your power. Repeat after me. I am divinely led, guided, and protected. No motherfucker outside of myself can penetrate my system. When someone tries to penetrate my system, they are met with my peace instantly. Immediately, I am reminded of how powerful I fucking am. And I dismiss the energy with compassion and forgiveness. But know how powerful I am. And so I send them the fuck off. I am powerful this way. I know I am divinely led. I know I am divinely guided. I know I am divinely protected. And it is in my clara potency that I rock out these kind of things in my knowing power. This is what I'm showing my power. Empowered. I am divinely led, guided, and protected. So would it be? Right, so right. Let's breathe. Let's shake it off. Get a crystal that you like. Okay? Get any fucking crystal that you like, that speaks to you, that you feel that you are drawn to, doesn't fucking matter. Okay, you're giving the stuff that you're doing meaning right now. Get a bowl of water. Okay, I prefer glass. I just like glass. Okay, glass. Or if you want, um, cast iron. That's how I see it. Okay, fill that with water. Okay, okay. If you want to put herbs in there, you want to put stuff in there and you want to make this special concoction something, go ahead. Who fucking cares? It's all about you. Fill this with water. The only reason why you're filling this with water is so that when you're cleansing yourself with your crystal, you are guiding the negativity. You are guiding the lower vibration. You are guiding whatever fuck shit that comes out of you from you, within you, that's coming out too. You're guiding it into that fucking bowl of water, okay? Okay? I'm gonna do this. Guide it into the fucking water. Whatever comes into your mind, okay? Whatever comes into your heart that is not what of in alignment with you, not what you want to, even if it's a negative thought, a bad thought, a worry, whatever the fuck it is. Guided into that bowl of water that can take your release. Okay? Okay? If you want, before you do this, if you want to light a white candle and a black candle, put it on the side of you, build your own little fucking ambiance of what you're doing, but you're going to do yourself a crystal bath cleanse. Okay? 
into the bowl of whatever to do or directing the energy. You need to know where it's going. Okay? You need to see this. You need to experience this. You need to, to let it. Right? When you're done, you, there's no time stamp on this, okay? Take another crystal that you like, right? Pass this one over with everything that you like. Because you're gonna replace the energies that you have released with alchemy thoughts. With every stroke that you want to receive that you want to intake, that you want to invoke that is pleasing to your spirit. And if another thought that was at the lower vibration pops up during this process, grab the other crystal that you used to release and take that motherfucker and let that release back into the water and go back and start again. When you are done with this process, Take that bowl, say goodbye, and pour it down the drain. Flush it down the toilet. Flush it down the toilet. Flush away. All right, I hope that this video was helpful to you. I thank each and every one of you for tuning in, tapping in, turning on whenever you do. Thank you for the inquiries too on my YouTube. Please feel free to leave commentary. I will happily and openly discuss um, your questions whenever I go on my next record if I receive it um, and if it's appropriate enough that I want to engage. You understand that? Understand that? Overstand that? Great. Um, make sure to follow me on all my other social medias too. I am at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S on Instagram. I am also at Witchy Utopian on TikTok, W-I-T-C-H-Y-U-T-O-P-I-A-N. Witchy Utopian. Also, make sure to like this comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell at any given time, ask me any questions. Um, my Etsy shop is still currently closed. So um, yes, I've also been asked about my poquitos. I have an announcement coming up soon that it's going to be this year's um, replacement of my yearly coquito run. Um, honestly, guys, this year is a little bit different for me in terms of my busy alchemy work schedule and stuff and my traveling and just a lot of things going on um, that I decided not to take for right now um, the coquito orders that people have inquired about to me because <laughs> everyone wants my coquitos. But I have something else that I'm going to be announcing that is just as good and it comes with coquito. <laughs> and um, I'll be announcing that soon enough, but not right now. <laughs> um, and that's just going to be fun, okay? And um, what else? Um, enchantingbabble.blogspot.com. That's my blog, my baby. I haven't uploaded over there in a while, but I will be resuming that soon. Also, there's going to be a spinoff to Enchantress the Babbler on YouTube with my witchy utopian blog. Okay, and so stay tuned with updates about that. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a lot more intimate. I continue to evolve. My YouTube is evolving as well. And so I'm thankful to all of you. I'm thankful for everyone that um, supports my channels, my social medias, my, my lifestyle. Um, I appreciate all of you who seek me for whatever counsel, whatever um, creations 
that you need or that you want me to do for you or make or um, visit you for. Um, I've been doing a lot of house calls um, this year, which is interesting because it's not something that I even advertise. It's not even something that I even thought to advertise, but it's something that is becoming a common denominator in what people are asking of me to do, which is to do house calls and, you know, um, house cleanings. <laughs> so, um, which is interesting. <laughs> You know, and, it's, and it'll be the people that I don't even know that they follow me like that or um, even, you know, have similar lifestyles and things like that. And it's people asking that, you know, it's an honor to, to be able to serve in that kind of way, you know. Um, it's just been interesting, <laughs> this whole entire thing, um, this growth. And so um, I do house calls. <laughs> <laughs> so I I travel. I'm I'm not being so um foretelling with my locations, my moves and all this kind of stuff for reasons that the stalking and the threats and you know the harassment that I have received, um that I'm just you know when it comes it, it's on a need to know basis, anything and everything and just a mind your damn business kind of thing. And so if you know, you know, if you're not, you don't know, well, you know, and that kind of thing. And so, um, you know, I'm doing a lot more traveling and stuff like that and, and making some house call visits, which I've also taken some of my time. Um, yeah, so that's, that's something. That's a, that's an interesting development. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect that one. <laughs> And people want me to go to the house <laughs> and clean the space. So that I want to thank you guys for that. Um, so you know, like I said, um, I I am what am I? <laughs> I am an infinite being. You know, tell me what you want, I'll give you what you need, kind of thing. And if I can't give it to you, I can either guide you in the way or not. <laughs> But I don't fake jacks in that department. If I can help you, I will. If I cannot, I will let you know. <laughs> Immediately so. And there are a lot of things that I would want to help people on, but I have to sometimes decline. Um, just it's it's not personal, it's spiritual, and it's also timing. It's 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 a lot of factors that go into play, especially when you're scheduling things and stuff like that that involve not just my schedule, but somebody else's and sometimes it's not even in the same state or time zone and then there's a lot of other things that um get taken into consideration and then sometimes it's the load of the of the caliber of of you know i when i become friends with people like I don't shade people in any kind of way in terms of business if I can't do it and I know somebody that can oh I, I refer I refer I do referrals right based off of the network of people that I would work with and you know I've sent people to other people that are not even deserving of that like so I'm being real discerning with that as well because you know people just be on some hateful sprees like even those people that I've referred people to shade you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm just like on some whatever and like, cause I want good alchemy and I only, I'm going to look for that same quality of caliber of alchemy if I'm going to refer somebody to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like somebody, like, it's just not, it just doesn't work that way. And here it doesn't work that way. But, um, right. So anyways, um, one more card for the road. Okay, what word of advice do we have at this moment in time in regards to dealing with external energies or stimuli that might come in our way that how can we navigate and work best for ourselves? How, what is one perception or one reality or one um, missing component maybe that can be highlighted at this time that will be helpful and useful to each and every one of us on our current journey? right of wherever it is that we each are on individually on our journey right that's gonna be <laughs> you know 
important for us. <laughs> the hangman. This leveling of surrender, right? Let's see the hangman. Look at that. The hangman is pouring on this water onto the land that is surrounded by both animal and, 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 and human. Let's see. Let me just see what it says from the book. <laughs> the hangman, the cosmic tree, axis of the world on which the shaman climbs until he reaches the heavens, while its roots penetrate into the underworld. The red and black rings symbolize the alternation of life and death, day and night, sky and earth, the polarity and the cosmos. Right? So it's like something that I said in the other video that I posted right before this one, which is Sometimes you have to drink the poison or be the poison in order to be its elixir. And so, you know, and many of the times we often learn through contrast. And it doesn't mean it's fair, it doesn't make it right, but it will be the contrast that teaches us the lesson. So if you are experiencing something that is quite challenging because you are on the side of a, where they attack, right? Or target. It only means that they're targeting your suppression so that the elixir never gets created. So you have a choice. What do you pay most attention to? For right now, because the more you choose to focus on the elixir, the less the less the challenge becomes, the less, the challenge becomes less in having to deal with those external energies that attempt to infiltrate. It will fall on deaf ears, but the journey right now is to get yourself there. And nobody can do that for you but you. Till next time, love and alchemy to you. Thank you so much. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification button, subscribe, hit the notification button, subscribe, hit the notification button, subscribe, ask the questions that you would like me to address for the next video. I am happy to assist collective in this kind of evolutionary, revolutionary way. Thank you. Till next time.